All right, we're here at the uh, Grand Hyatt Hotel in Muscat, Oman, in the Middle East, where we uh, are partnering with Al Jazeera on a YouTube interview for our Worldview program with the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, David Cameron, right inside here. So let's go check it out. We're here with Kamal Santamaria, who's going to be interviewing the Prime Minister in a few moments uh, through the YouTube Worldview program. Kamal, tell us what this uh, is all about. So we've got a whole stack of questions lined up coming from viewers. Some are text, some are video. Um, yes. And we've got our plasma screen here, which I'm controlling with the iPad, which is pretty cool. So we'll just be able to flick through the questions on screen. Uh, and uh, once we've got some audio, which we will have, uh, we'll be able to show the Prime Minister the questions there. And what did you think of the questions? Were they good? Yeah, they were good. It's, it's, it, we got a lot. It was nice to have a mix, basically, of some international stuff and, um, and some domestic policy. Um, and it was interesting that the, the most popular questions, when a question would be posted and people would vote, and I think the second most popular was one about marijuana. And the first most popular was, if you're making uh, you know, financial cuts in the UK, why are you still fighting wars? So we know from that now what the big, what the big issues uh -huh. are for people. Yeah, weed and war. Weed and, <laughs> weed and war. <laughs> This was the most popular question. You happy with Basically, if you're making cuts, then why are you still spending money on wars? Was the, the, the gist of the question. That was the most popular voting question. You know the morning I've had. The Santa Maria's would have pulled it off. Yeah. Hello, hello. Hello. Good morning, Prime Minister. Good morning. Hi, nice to see you. Santa Maria's might be nice to meet you. Please take a seat. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Right, so we're watching the television. We are, and then now you're watching. No, I've heard you're an iPad man, so we're. So I'm controlling the the slideshow from here. Yeah, watch the screen, and then and then after you're done, we'll talk to me. Exactly. For each question. Yes, some of them are text questions, so I'll read them off the the monitor, and you'll be able to see them as well. Okay. You okay, Andre? Yep. Everyone okay? Okay, we're recording. Excellent. Prime Minister, thank you so much for your time. The, the format of our interviews, we've got all the questions in from viewers around the world. They've sent in text questions, they've sent in video questions, and we've <coughs> split it up into some foreign policy, some domestic policies. So we hope to cover a, a nice broad range of things. First question, it's a video question, and it's, I think, very important at this moment. It's an international one. It's about the situation of the uprisings that we've seen in the Middle East. So let's have a look. All right, I'm here with Riyad Minty of Al Jazeera. Actually, Riyad, you want to stand over there by the, yeah, why not? the pillar? What, what did you think of the uh, of the YouTube interview with David Cameron? I did very well. It's the uh, first time we've done something like this, and it was pretty good. Some really tough questions that came out from the community. Um, but, yeah, good answers. Good. What do you think Al Jazeera's audience will think of the, the interview? I think they like it because um, a lot of the time, these are the questions that people want to hear. And our audience generally is Al Jazeera philosophy is to be the voice of the voiceless and give people the chance. Um, so being able to ask questions directly to people in power, um, that puts in with the Al Jazeera philosophy and I think our audience will have it. Um, hopefully we can do a lot more of this. Great.